Dudes to Dads, brought to you by Dad University, is a podcast to help men understand and navigate the transition of being a single dude into a family man. How do we make sense of it all? Well, we probably won't be able to, but let's go ahead and have some fun trying. And we are back. We are back. I'm Jason Kreidman. I'm Alan Bush. And this is Dudes to Dads, episode 186. Mm. 186. How are you, Alan? Good, good, good. I almost forgot who you were. I know. I've been traveling. <laughs> it's been so a whole much. week. It's been at least a week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. We got some interesting stuff for tonight. Um, have you ever heard the term sharenting? <laughs> No, I, I, that's a good thing. Maybe yeah, I'm, I'm going to say air on the side of I'm glad I never heard of this term. It's not a disease. Um, well, it is actually. It's it the latest n- set of words that like merges words together. And yeah, like, yeah. it's like a um, what is that dog that you merge multiple things together? Uh-huh, a no. labradoodle. A labradoodle. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, sharenting is um, over posting your children on social media oh i'm glad you, you're going down this route yes so I, I think i have a lot to say about this tonight's episode stop <laughs> over posting your kids on social media and we don't need any more sharing <laughs> so here's the thing is i'm not really that controversial you know i mean i don't I don't choose controversial controversial topics right. per yeah, se. Right. Um, even in my videos, I stay pretty tame. But I'll tell you what, boy, do people have some strong feelings on this they one? Do. I know. Yeah, you can. Um, but this is, you know, I'm not afraid to go down this. Road oh, either am I? Because it's yeah. like it, I feel passionate about this. Yeah, one. yeah, <laughs> and, and I and I know plenty of people who are guilty of this. Yep. So it, it, it's true. Moms have a tendency to post a little bit more than dads. Okay, a lot more. <laughs> Um, but dads are still guilty of it yeah. all the time. So the topic for today is sharenting. Um, sharenting. Yeah. So with this topic, what happens is that there's some issues that have come about. And that's what I want to look at is I want to talk about some of the issues that are a result or the cause of sharenting and, and kind of what can happen. So the first one is legal issues. Hmm. So, To give you an example, there's an 18-year-old girl who is suing her parents for posting a baby picture of her that she didn't like. Okay. And basically, she didn't consent to it being posted. Yeah, and she's of legal age to Right, and she's of legal age to do that. Whether or not it's okay. So, that's what's interesting is that there could be all kinds of legal issues in the future with parents not getting the consent of their children prior to posting. Now I'm going to go out on a limb. I don't know the, this case intimately, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say, there may be other issues between the parent and the child. Yeah. I'm going to, and as a result, the fact that a parent wouldn't obey the wishes of the child is concerning to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in that instance. Yeah. I'd be like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take it down. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, forget about asking before you post. <laughs> yeah, exactly. after the fact it, with it, the child. No, it's such a cute photo of you, I, honey. Yeah, I, no, I need to post it for my social media. Jesus. I need it on my account. <sighs> I know it, it, it. It's it's even hard to argue this. It's so funny. there's no argument. Well, it's like you know, before the internet. If you published your child's photo in a magazine, right, it would be a big controversial thing, right? If you yeah. got didn't get permission or whatever it is, and so I mean, it's, it, yeah, well, but, or would it? I mean, not. If, I, I mean, mean, like, let's well, say the local newspaper, you fed them a picture of your yeah, kid, right? And they were like, you know, they didn't like the picture, as, yeah. especially as they, as they got older or something, right? Yeah. You know, I they, mean, I don't know. I just I feel like it's just so easy to do now. It's, yeah. You know, there's a lot more hoops you have to jump through before to do that. But but. It's real. There's legal issues right. that can come about of it. I mean, this is a legitimate lawsuit. And, and yeah. in other words, it's actually happening. Um, I don't know that there's been an outcome or not, but it, it's real that the idea that somebody can, you know, come after you for posting something. I mean, it, and that can go not even just family. I mean, it's friends, mm-hmm. coworkers, you know, for, for you to publish something without their permission, right. um, it can be a problem. So yeah, the, yeah. the legal issues are real. Right. Um, so another one, body image issues. So the idea that you post a picture of a young child and 
hoping for likes and views is not a good thing. And that's certainly not, uh, you know, for, let's say you posted of your family or your child or whatever, and the child is aware of that. And there, I mean, cause I can tell you, I've seen this firsthand. A group of kids were over at our house and they were talking about something being posted and they all asked how many views has it gotten? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Eh, like eight to yeah. 10 year old kids. I know. I and know. asking popularity how many views. contest. Right. So the idea that they're even concerned about views or likes at that young age is, is not good. Yeah. Not a good thing. And even worse is that social media will judge the appearance of a young child. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, they'll do it to adults. No question. But even as a young kid, they will judge the way the child looks, their, th- you know, whatever. And the idea that a young child can be exposed to that is just not good. Right. And so, you know, body issues can develop early with that. The idea that, you know, oh, these comments, I mean, even, you know, kids posting something online and, you know, I mean, this is about parents posting their kids online. Yes. And then, you know, it being judged as a result of it. Right. Um, yeah, it's just it's not a good idea. So that's that's another one. A third one, digital narcissism. Mm-hmm. So the posting of accomplishments or something great your kid did, people actually think that that makes them great. The mm-hmm. parent, right. the parent thinks that it makes them better. Yeah. And they're wonderful as a result of their child accomplishing something. So this is not good for the parent or the child because your self-worth should not come from the accomplishment of the child. Right. You've got to put that in check. And the idea like, and the parent, the argument often is I'm proud of my kid, but really you will and you so he, be proud of them without posting the pictures. I mean, well, uh, you're you're proud of them, but it's not benefiting them. Right. It's benefiting you. Yep. So you're taking and getting the um you know, the dopamine or whatever else as a result of it because your child accomplished something or you think this is so cute and so you have to show everybody. And um it's just it's not it's not okay. It's just not. Yeah. Um the number four, this is a really serious one, um, security issues. Yeah. So that's one of the big children's ones. identities are actually being stolen yeah. now more often, and their safety is at greater risk because of the identity is known. So I, I think people in general are always like, ah, oh, that will never happen to me. Well, and they're, yeah. or they're naive. They just don't. Yeah. They, yeah. You know, it would never happen to me or. That, well, I only, owes, I only post pictures of blah, 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 blah. Yes. Yeah, so whatever. Silly. You know, the reality is it's happening more and more. And so you do have to be careful. You know, they, that's why I said people don't think that it can happen to them and it, and it can. And so you have to be protective of that. So the question is really is like, you know, how do we navigate this? You know, what's okay to post, what's not, how often, I mean, and and here's the reality too. Parents are making money off of the content, you know? (laughs) So you think about, I mean, even YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, there's tons of different um, businesses being created that involve the family, the children, bloggers, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, you know, what is okay? So, I mean, that's. That's kind of what we have to, to to look at. And my personal opinion is that the negative drastically outweighs the positive. I agree. So, you know, as it relates to posting about your kids. So if you are going to post, I think we have to ask ourselves a couple of questions and consider a couple things. So I want to go over those. The first one, did I get the consent of my child to post? Mm. So that's an important thing. Sure. Um, You know, hey, are they okay with this post? If they're too young to make that decision, then you have to ask some of the other questions. (laughs) Yeah, because that's where I see it most is when people have newborns Mm -hmm. all the way up to whatever age. they. But my family wants to see the pictures. I know. Well, send them to them. (laughs) Just email. There's a million other ways to do it. You don't have to make it public. I know. But. 
Yeah, I, I could go down a hole. Text it to him. <laughs> yeah, we'll send, send an email. <laughs> Get the send photo a, album out. Send a postcard. And send a copy of it. Right. No, but my baby's so cute. I want everyone uh, to see right. it. Well, that's the real thing. I want everybody to see yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's showing off. Right. Um, number two, why am I posting? So ask this question to yourself. Am I doing this to feel better about myself? And if the answer is yes, don't post. Because most of the time, as I mentioned, there is zero value for the child. Now, there are outliers where somebody posts their child uh, performing some sort of sport or the arts or something, and they get recognized and noticed by something, and maybe they get a scholarship or a music contract if you're Justin Bieber or whatever. (laughs) Right. Um, That's one out of a billion so the likelihood of that happening is is pretty low, although every parent thinks their child is the most talented, cutest, and, and best. But you have to ask yourself, why are you posting? And what is the true reason for it? And most people say, well, because my family wants to see it or my friends want to see it. I, I can argue I just don't know that that's a good enough reason, but that's if somebody's reason to do that. And I posted this because I did a video about this. Mm-hmm. I posted this on some Facebook groups. Okay. <laughs> got some, you got a lot. Of oh, I, I got some interesting responses. Yeah. Yeah. Hate mail with, with curse words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good example to set yeah. for your children. Yeah. Which, which made me think even more positive of the person yeah, who was doing yeah. it. You're proving your point. Right. Sir. Well, but that's what I wanted to see. I mean, I wanted to see what people, people's reactions and yeah, I had a feeling people would be really strongly um, opposed to some of the stuff we're saying right now. And well, cause I, I have to post <laughs> it drives me nuts. Everybody honestly. wants to see my child no, hit a home run. Uh, I, okay. Some of the things, you know, I could get when you were like, they made this whatever squad or once in a while, I even so, see, even, yeah. I, you know, I can excuse it. What I can't, believe people do it shocks me to all be damned is it tuesday no they post <laughs> pictures every day every day they have a picture of their child so i'm watching your child from birth grow up so you on want, your social they, media you profile. only need one maybe once a year if that once a quarter it's, it's, it's the equivalent of picking you know people take pictures of their food and stuff like that, that was a big thing it's yeah. almost like being a spoof now right but now it's about babies and it's like Okay, the kid's cute. I get it. But like, geez, let that kid grow up with some privacy, for God's sakes. Right. It's a poor kid. The kid has, like you said, does not have, give consent. It's a little kid. Little baby doesn't know that every picture you're taking of it is being posted somewhere. Yep. And so, um, you know, and then they find out when they're like six or seven, their whole entire life. You're going to go on. You're going to already get ahead of me to my number three thing. (laughs) Uh, Will my child ever be upset or embarrassed by the post? So I've also seen where parents are talking negative uh, about their child and like, you know, maybe the child like messed something up and yeah, they thought it was funny or, whatever. or they thought it was funny, whatever. And then they said, you know, or how much the child frustrated you and like, you know, hey, don't you have this problem also? You know, and the child like wrote on the wall and they would just want to relate to other parents and, you know, whatever. Great. That's how that's their argument. But you have to think about how the child might feel. Mm. You know, that if the child is going to see this, are they going to be upset or embarrassed by the post? Right. And you have to consider that because the post is not for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's good, you know, because I know I have friends that um, that don't post pictures of their kids all the time. Like I know who their kids are and their social media profiles don't have a million pictures of their kids. It's usually their own personal adventure Mm -hmm. or something they saw or, you know, and that's what I, I don't even post pictures of my family or my cat. Right. Okay. My cat's privacy is important. Right. Let alone, you know, a child or I don't even post about my own yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, right. you don't broadcast about anything that's going no. on in your life at all. No. Um, but, but I mean, it's, it's one thing to kind of it's talk. just to add university. That's it. <laughs> right. But it, I don't know. It, it, it circling back to that whole thing. Like we, is that's the biggest problem for me is when, like I said, once in a while, kid, like you said, hits are like, wins the game or whatever and something happens okay fine but um but it's like well i was having a conversation today actually in my office and it was interesting um my assistant was talking about um reasons why he's of a the uh, younger generation and one of the things was you know that if you were validated as a child and, and into your, you know, in other words, your parents, they validated you. You felt good. You have good self-esteem. 
I wonder how much of that comes into play of the need to post. Right. You know, and I don't know that answer. I'm just, it was a very, it was, it was an observation and it was very interesting because we got into the discussion about how I personally do not feel the need to post anything about my personal life. And it's not because I don't want people and it's just, I don't have the desire to do it. I, and, and, and part of it, maybe, I mean, I, I don't necessarily need people to know what's going on in my life, right. but it's my life. You know, like yeah. if I go to even on vacation, I don't feel the need to post those pictures of me going on a vacation. You, you know, no, that's me. No, no. I, I, and that's the other thing too. And again, I'm not, I don't know what it means if, if, if you and I were validated more as a kid or something or whether or not people are more actively post. I, Cause I was thinking maybe it's a generational thing, but it's not, I've seen people that are our age posting things like that. Right. And like, I'm the same way. I don't post everywhere I've been once in a while, throw something up there just to kind of stay active in the, in the, cause we're in the internet. Mm-hmm marketing space so i throw something up there if i'm doing a teaching gig mm-hmm. i'll be like oh, i'll post something related to that because it's it well, promotes them too pr- yeah it helps promote it <laughs> exactly right. so um, i mean it's kind of a self-serving thing and once in a while i'll post like a vac- uh, uh, picture of a sunset or something that i'm looking at sure but it's not me in it and it's not me and jason and it's not me and my buddies and, and everything and like and i don't but that's what i'm curious is i don't know and i don't know why i just don't feel the need to do it I but i'm but either. i don't know the psychology and that's what i'm interested in yeah i don't is the psychology don't like broadcasting everything I don't, and you know some things okay i don't know I, just, I think some of it is generational i mean i think more people uh, yeah i mean the younger generation. generation is totally fine with their stuff being online. sure sure in and it's, it's become part of their norm correct yeah Right. Yeah. I mean, people who are 20 and below, like their whole world has been online. Yeah. You know, it's Instagram, Snapchat. I mean, it's, they are so much more comfortable with it Mm. being online that I I think that's just part of like even the communication. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's how they communicate is by posting and saying, Hey, I'm doing this rather than like calling somebody and saying, Hey, this is where I'm at. Yeah. They would just post it and show where they're at. Right. You know? So, I mean, I think it is generational. We're getting old. (laughs) (laughs) That just proved it. (laughs) Um, so yeah, I think you just have to be aware. That was number three was that, you know, just be aware of the, if your child's ever going to be upset or embarrassed, but, uh, number four, do you want this to be part of your child's digital archive? Yeah. So keep in mind, posts are digital tattoos. That's mm-hmm. a good way of looking at it. Yeah. They are permanent. So you need to be mindful how they could affect their life in any way in the future. So yeah. the, the one before that, number three, was just about them getting upset or embarrassed or whatever. The other is, ha- could this affect them in some way? Sure. You know, you're posting... I mean, it's the same thing if you're posting your friend in an uncompromised, oh, they were drunk at a party and then all of a sudden they go for an interview and somebody Googles them or looks them up on Facebook and they see that, that's not going to look very, very good for them. So, you know, kind of be mindful about how the content can affect the child's life in the future in any way. And that's what I was getting back to of where I've seen many posts where the parent is essentially saying something negative about the child. And that I can't even believe, but saying, Hey, like, can you believe that he did this or she did this? Right. You know, uh, can't you relate to that? Um, You know, and that's how they relate to people, I guess, (laughs) in some way. Right. right. I think, you know, overall, here's the problem is that we think that our children are the cutest, smartest, you know, most talented people in the world. Mm -hmm. And we want people to share and like, and, and provide these positive comments about what we post. But the problem is, is that it just does nothing for the child of who you're posting about. Yeah. There's just no benefit to that. Yep. So I think just in general, we have to agree to stop sharenting. <laughs> That's what this comes down to. <laughs> right. Um, it's not going to happen. I know. Term. But but but, I'm but I'm on a mission. Yeah. No. And I, I will stand behind you on that because I, I just I feel all the things you just listed is why I think that way, because you know, if you want validation all the time, you feel the need to do that with not only your friends, but your friends, friends and whoever you're attached to on social media, you need to reevaluate yourself at mm-hmm. that point. I feel <laughs> like I don't I don't want to say it's a psychological disorder, but I mean, oh, I mean, so everyone's proud of their kid. Everyone's kid special. Everyone. Kid, everyone has good, cute, whatever. And you, you, you just don't need to like stop exposing your kid to all that. Yep. And they're going to grow up with this. Like you said, they're going to they, there's so many problems that could stem from that. Yeah. That, they, that you don't you can't predict in the future. So why do it? I agree. 
just, yeah, ugh, it drives me nuts. And I'm glad you brought this up because <laughs> this, this is something I've been thinking about for a long time. And, I, and I, because of more and more of my friends are having kids, you know, I, well, again, well and you don't even have kids. I, so I can think kids. it's even worse. And, but, right. I mean, like I have kids and I still don't care. It just, it drives me nuts because like, like I don't want to see what they're doing. In their well, yeah. Too. Once in a while. Hey, you have one. Great. <laughs> but I don't even want to see what my friends are doing either. So it's, <laughs> right. you know, yeah. it's a little, True. I'm like, I, I don't care. No, I mean, if I, <laughs> here's the thing. I mean, even with my great friends, it for whatever reason, I don't. It doesn't. Um, I don't want to lose friends over this. Yeah, right. No, no. But I'm saying I don't have the desire you. to know what they've been like, like where they've been, yeah. or what they've done. Yeah. I do have a desire to to know how they are. Yeah. You know, and so when I have a conversation, it's like, man, how have you been doing? what's been going on in your life. In other words, like their emotional state, how are they feeling that kind of stuff? I'm always interested in that. But the fact that they took a trip to the grand Canyon or like, okay, like that's cool. You know, but it's not, that's what I'm saying for me that that doesn't do it. Now, other people love it. They love seeing what other people are doing. So that's where I'm interested to understand the psychology. Exactly. And that's the whole point. So I'm not just saying one's right and one's wrong. No, no I'm you're right. Because it's a very I, big difference. It's interesting you should say that because I, I just went on a huge trip. I just told you about it right before <laughs> the show. And I went to like five different like cities. But I didn't want to see a picture of you in the airport. And I, I just wanted to see it. how you were doing. I did not <laughs> post it. How was your trip? Oh, right. I did this. This is great. That's all you need to know. Unless there's something fantastic or I ran into like Elvis or something. Then, like, right. and, and that's my thing too. I'm the same way. I don't really care whether or not. I'm not saying you shouldn't show those things. Right. Um, oh. But I'm the type that doesn't necessarily show all that. But when I do i'm always surprised at how many people pay attention to it right i post a picture of uh, i did post one picture and it was me drinking a cape cod in honor of my grandpa <laughs> <laughs> and that was it yeah i know it's interesting <laughs> if people have some feedback which i i sure imagine they do alan what should they do all your hate mail can be directed to podcast at <laughs> tuesdaydads.com uh, you can hit us up on facebook tuesdaydads.com we still there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Twitter, at Deuce the Dads, and uh, Dad University on YouTube. Please go to YouTube and look at the, the great videos that Jason's posting up. Or and the website also now is, you can yeah. go to Dad, Dad or you, you, can, I'm go sorry, you can go to Deuce the Dads.com, and then yeah. it will redirect you to the Dad University. So yeah. we've actually, just a, an update for the fans out there, uh, we've consolidated everything under the Dad University umbrella. Mm-hmm. So um, we Still have the name Dudes to Dads. Yeah, but still yeah. own it. Everything's still good there. Um, the podcast should be listed as such on the respective. But the feed has changed also. <laughs> <laughs> They don't care. Yeah. Um, but, um, and that brings me to going to the podcatchers. Go to iTunes and Stitcher, uh, wherever you see us. Please uh, subscribe to those channels. Leave a comment. Uh, share it with your friends, even if you don't like it. <laughs> Please share it with your friends. If you want more feedback, we'd love to, to hear from you, and it really perpetuates the show. Awesome. Well, Alan, thank you. Thank you. Let's go sharenting. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. See you next week. <laughs>